All right, this is 6.7, example two. We're finding the partial fractions for x plus five over two x squared minus x minus one. This time our denominator is not factored, so we need to start by factoring it. So we factored it into two linear factors, two x plus one and x minus one. So then we write out the whole expression, the whole equation, x plus five over two x plus one times x minus one equals a over 2x plus 1 plus b over x minus 1 because we are separating that out into the two fractions with the two factors. Then we multiply everything by the least common denominator. Um, lots of stuff cancels out to get rid of our fractions and we're left with this equation here without fractions. Okay, so if we're going to go ahead and use our convenient x method again, we would let x equal 1. So then we would have 1 plus 5 equals a times 1 minus 1 plus b times oh, b, my computer doesn't like me, 2 times 1 plus 1. So that would be 6 here and 0 here and 2 plus 1 is 3b. So we should know that b equals 2, right? Did I do that right? Okay, then this one's a little trickier because I think we're going to get a fraction to make this one work unless I'm wrong. We need whatever's going to make this cancel out. So I think it's a negative 1 half, which mm, fractions, I don't know, it depends on how much you hate fractions, but let's try it. So negative 1 half. So that would be negative one half plus five. Uh, just for fun, I'm going to change five to ten halves. So let me, because that's five, right? And then I would have a is negative one half minus one, and b would be b times negative one half. Oh, that would be. Sorry. Yes. Um, I noticed that there was some sort of smell. Yes, but I wasn't sure because of my mask. I think. Okay. So sometimes cars sit out here, and we get the smells, the fumes down through the ventilation systems. So negative one half times two, I did that in the wrong order, flustered a little bit. So that would be negative one plus one. So that turns that into zero as expected, yes? Wow. Okay, so that gives us nine halves equals negative three halves times A. So then if we divide nine halves by three halves, that's the same thing as 9 halves times negative 2 thirds because copy dot flip multiply by the reciprocal so 3 goes into 9 3 times and 2 and 2 cancel out so we have negative so that should be a negative 3 is that correct what you got oh, okay um so thinking 9 divided by 3 is 3 1 it should be so our final answer should be um, negative 3 over 2x plus 1 equals, no, not equals, plus 2 over x minus 1. And notice how I just put that negative right there on top of the fraction. Like you would do that even if the two had been negative. Instead of doing like, this is the same answer. Hopefully you guys realize that. The two over x minus one plus negative three over two x plus one is exactly the same answer. Just in the opposite order and that's perfectly fine. Order doesn't matter. The order of the factors doesn't matter at all. But what goes with each factor, that matters. And instead of putting a minus here because of the minus three, I just leave that as a plus and put the minus three on the top. And that just makes it clear what that fraction is. Okay. Um, we 